Kajuraho, a city in Madhya Pradesh which is famous for its ancient temples that depicts some of the finest art in the world. These temples depict various forms like meditation, spiritual teaching, kinship, wrestling, royalty and most significantly erotic art. Based on their geographical location, the temples are categorized into three groups, Eastern, Western and Southern. So come, let's discover this beautiful city with me. Let's start with western group of temples. The first I visited is the Lakshmana temple. So this temple is dedicated to vacant form of Vishnu. The temple stands on high platform and it has beautiful detailings on it. The sanctum doorway is of sub sakhas that you can clearly see the central part is decorated with various incarnations of lord vishnu the lintel depicts lakshmi in between brahma and shiva Opposite to Lakshmana temple, there is Varaha temple and Lakshmi temple. The temple enshrines a colossal monolithic image of Varaha, the boar incarnation of Vishnu. Next, we visited Pratapeshwar Temple. This temple get its name after King Pratap Singh. The main shikhar of this temple is surrounded with miniature shikhars. Moving ahead, we visited Vishwanath Temple. According to the architecture, this temple falls between the Lakshmana and the Kandariya Mahadev temple. Among all the temples, this temple is the finest and the best preserved example of Chandelia architecture. This temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva. Next to Vishwanath Temple, we have Nandi Temple and Parvati Temple. Mm -hmm. 
walking along beautiful garden we saw chitragoop temple and visited that the temple closely resembles jagdambi temple this is the only temple in khajura dedicated to surya this temple is placed between vishwanath and kandariya mahadev temple the temple walls are carved with some of the finest figures of sundaris erotic couples and gods Jagdambi temple This temple is named after the presently enshrined image of Parvati that is in the sanctum The temple was originally dedicated to Lord Vishnu This temple stands on lofty platform and resembles to Chitragoop temple in respect of the plan moving ahead we have kandariya mahadev temple it is the largest tallest and the most ornate temple of the surviving temples at khajuraho The temple is known for its exquisite carvings that is on the walls, ceilings and pillars. The carving depicts all the four necessary pursuits of life: kama, artha, dharma, and moksha around 900 sculptures are carved into this sandstone temple which is built on granite foundation Jawari temple This temple is dedicated to Shiva The main idol of the temple is broken and headless Vaman temple This temple is dedicated to Vaman the incarnation of Lord Vishnu This temple is situated near the Jawari temple Eastern group of temples People who come to Khajuraho usually visit the western group of temples only unlike the western group where the temple are in closed area the temples of eastern and southern group are scattered all around the old village the eastern group of temples can be divided into two the temple dedicated to jain which includes parsvana temple adina temple and ghandai temple and the temple dedicated to hindus which includes brahma temple vamana temple and hanuman temple southern group of temples are distinctly located but are no less in their beauty and appeal there are two main temples dulha dev and chaturbhuj temple travel to the ruler depths of madhya pradesh to explore khajuraho a world heritage site 
that contain some of the most beautiful temples in India. Of the original 85 temples, only 20 have survived destruction and ravages of time. The famous erotic sculptures of Khajuraho account for only 10% of all these sculptures. Yet it is here that some of the most beautiful temples in India containing the finest art in the world. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe my channel and do follow me on my Instagram. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.